This is our updated YouTube Shorts guide. We're gonna share everything you need to know about YouTube Shorts, the monetization, the analytics, the video size, and how to make YouTube Shorts on mobile and desktop. Now, as we go through, if you've already been playing with YouTube Shorts, then let me know down in the comments, what's your experience been so far? So YouTube Shorts is really YouTube's answer to TikTok videos and to Instagram Reels. So they are short, less than one minute videos that are portrait or square, and they can be uploaded on either desktop or mobile but your video does need to meet those requirements. So if it's longer than a minute or it's uploaded in widescreen, it's not going to be a short. Now, YouTube Shorts is a feature of YouTube that isn't restricted, meaning you don't have to reach any certain milestone or anything to unlock it. You just need to make sure that you are uploading videos that are compliant as YouTube Shorts and YouTube will automatically pick them up as a short. You don't even need to use the hashtag shorts in your titles anymore. Now, it's been a little while since YouTube first announced shorts and there has been some big changes along the way. And they're now showing up in so many more places on the platform. So for an example, if we open up the YouTube app on mobile, we don't need to scroll down very far before we're seeing shorts. And you can see here, we've got quite a few here to choose from. And this is just on the homepage. We also have a dedicated shorts area down the bottom. And if you go over to subscriptions as well, which is showing the content from channels you're subscribed to, then they're front and center there too. And over on desktop, you can see the experience is very similar. We've got our regular YouTube videos showing up here on the homepage, but we don't have to go down very far before we are shown some shorts. And again, we've got quick access to just shorts over here on the left as well. Now when viewing on desktop, you can see we've got the ability to give a like, a dislike, we can add a comment, we can share, we can view the creator's channel, but there's also a subscribe button down here. So shorts can be a good way to get people to subscribe to your channel as well. And up the top here, we've got these three little dots where we can add access the video description. We can stop YouTube from recommending this channel for us. We can report it and we can send feedback to YouTube. We can also see the channel name and have a link to the channel again down the bottom left corner and we can see the shorts video title. Now, while the short does have a video title, it is shorter than a regular YouTube video. But to move between the different shorts, all we need to do is just scroll or swipe up depending on the device that you're using and we can quickly go through the different pieces of content. So you can see the experience is really designed to consume these things quick. Consume the content, move on to the next one. Now on mobile, which is really where they're pushing the shorts experience, we've got access to all the same settings and a few extra ones too. So if we hit the three dots down here, you can see we've got some extra settings in here for closed captions, but also we have the ability to use this sound to cut this video and to apply a green screen effect. And these three tools are designed to help us create more content off the back of somebody else's reel. Now we'll get to those very soon, but let's take a look at how easy it is to create a short on your phone. You just wanna go ahead and open up the YouTube app, go Go down to the plus down the bottom middle and go up to create a short. And hey, I'm on camera. So first off, you wanna specify here if you're gonna create a 15 second video, 15 second short, or you wanna create a 60 second one. We can switch between our camera here, front and back camera. We've got filters that we can add in here, filters and effects and things. So if we wanted to add uh, some face zoom effect or motion trails, if you're creating a matrix style video, you could add all that stuff in here. I'm just going to ignore that for now. Just swipe down to get back out of that. We can control our video recording speed here. So it's currently at one speed, which is normal speed. We can create slower or faster videos in here. We can add a self timer or a countdown timer in here as well for three seconds, 10 seconds or 20 seconds so that you could start this, set your camera up, and run into position and it's going to record automatically for you. We've got a green screen effect that we can add down the bottom here if we wanna cut ourselves out and react to something or even if we wanna put something else in the background. So you can see now that I've selected it here, down the bottom here I can actually choose a different video or an image or something to put behind me. So if I press this video here of the two webcams and go next, then hey, those are now in the background. So I'm gonna go done, I'm gonna go back out of this, hit the little X. Okay, we're back. So that was a green screen. We can retouch, it says, so we can add some beauty filter on to smooth out your face. I'm gonna turn that one off. And we can also add filters and things down the bottom here as well. Think of these pretty much exactly the same as an Instagram filter. We can change up the look and feel of your video. I'm gonna go ahead and choose done. And then down the bottom here under this little arrow, if we press on that, there is a lighting adjustment, which will actually boost the lighting a little bit if you're filming in a dark area. So it's gonna be very subtle here. And you can see it's just a little bit brighter. 
I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back off. Now to start recording, all we need to do is press and hold on the record button here. If I do that now and start talking, then we can see that we have this little progress bar filling up across the top. Now we currently have this set to a 15 second short. So this is filling up to 15 seconds, but you can see that when I've let go, it's actually stopped or paused the recording at that point because we have the ability to record multiple clips. So I can press record again now, and you can see that we're picking up from where we left off all to fill that 15 or 60 second gap if we switch to 60 seconds. Now, if you make a mistake and you wanna undo it, there is an undo button down the bottom here and we can remove that last one. If we wanna undo again and go back to the start, then we can do that as well. We can also redo, if you decide that you actually did like that take, you can redo it and add those back in. Now we can also add music to our short in here as well. If we come up the top here to add sound, then in here you get access to a lot of different commercial music and just music and sound effects and things that you can use in your shorts. But just keep in mind that with any of these that you use, you are limited to 15 seconds. So if we select this one here from Panic at the Disco, I'm not gonna play it back for copyright reasons, then that's been added to this video. So if we go ahead and press the tick down the bottom right hand corner, then we can start to preview this and and see what it looks like. Now on this screen down the bottom left where it says sound, if we wanna swap out that music track or remove it, then we can do that here. We can also adjust that track. So if we wanna pick the exact 15 second chunk that we wanna use, then we can do that in here just by sliding this along to find the area that we want. Or we can pick up and move that area down the bottom for a more granular adjustment. Once we've found the bit that we want, we go done. Then we can look at adding things like text, which is the next one over here. So if we press on that, we can add in awesome some text, very creative, let's go done at the top. So this text, we can pick it up, we can move it around, we can rotate it. So very simple to add text. We can also add in a voiceover if we wanted to by pressing voiceover and we can tap and hold and record directly into the app here too. I'm gonna to cancel out of that. If we go to volume, this is where we can adjust our original volume levels for our shorts and also the volume levels for any music that we've added in here. So we see we've got the music track that we selected. We could lower that down so we could still actually hear me speaking there as well. We'll press the X to go back. But where this becomes really powerful is we can actually open up a timeline view. So if we press on timeline, then this is like almost a cut down video editing tool. So we can see here our video layers. We've got our main video track on the bottom. We've got our music track above that. And we've also got a layer for our text. So if we decide that we don't want our text across the entire video, we can actually make adjustments to that here and move our text just to show up for the areas that we want. And we can also add more text directly from in here as well, just by pressing the AA button. So if we add that and press done, let's go back to the timeline and let's put this one here just after it with a little bit of an overlap. So we can see now that I'm talking, we'll get one text box on screen and the other one shows up straight after it. So very simple, but also pretty powerful. The next one across filters are the same filters that we had when we were filming. So we can add those in here afterwards as well. Now, when you're done creating, you wanna hit next, and this is where we can upload and release our short. Now you will need to give it a title. Think of this like your YouTube video title, but you are limited to 100 characters for this. So it's going to be a shorter title, for your shorts. We can then set if we want this video to be public, unlisted or private, or if we wanna schedule it to release, we can specify that date and time in here too. For this one, I'm just gonna choose private. We then need to specify the audience and whether this video was made for kids or not, or if we need to add any age restrictions on it based on the content we're creating. We can also choose how we wanna handle comments on this short too, and our options are to allow all comments, hold potentially inappropriate ones for review, hold all comments for review, or disable comments entirely. Now for me, I would just leave it at the default settings unless you specifically need to change it. Then all you need to do is hit upload short and it's up on your channel. Now at the time of filming this, there's no way to currently add in captions just using the YouTube app. There are some amazing free and really cheap ways to do it. And we cover that in another video, which I will link in the description. Now, as we saw earlier, you can also remix or repurpose either your own YouTube videos or your own shorts or someone else's shorts as well. Now, this is another thing right now that you can only do in the mobile app. So let's go ahead and find one of our videos. Let's go to our channel. Let's pick one of our videos here. And then below the video, we have this little create short button. So if I press on this, then we can edit this 
this into a short and it says here that this option is only available to us because it is our video. We can use just a sound bite from this video, which you can enable for anyone on YouTube to do this for your videos. We can cut a 15 second segment out of this video, or we can use a green screen effect to react to it. So let's first off go edit into a short. That's again gonna open up the YouTube shorts creation area in the app. We can grab the circle and swipe it along to find the area of the video that we wanna turn into a short. So let's just say around here somewhere where I'm talking. Now it doesn't have to be 15 seconds. We could grab these handles here and we could shorten that down if we need to, but we can also reformat the video here. You can see this was originally shot as a widescreen video. I can actually just tap and swipe across and move across the original video so that it's going to look good when it's portrait. Once we're happy with that, we can hit next. And then we're back over where we can add the text, your voiceover, we can tweak and adjust things in the timeline views, add filters, or just hit next and post it out. So that's what you can do if it's one of your own videos, but let's find another video here. All right, let's grab this one here. We'll tap on it as if we're going to watch it. And we've got this create shorts button again underneath the video. Now, because this one isn't ours, the three options that we get, we can add a 15 second snippet from just the sound of this video. We can add an up to five second cut as a segment from this video, including the video itself, or we can add ourselves as a green screen effect over the top of a portion of his video. So if we press sound here, and you can see, hey, I'm on camera again. We can see D's video here. We can go through, find the 15 second chunk that we want, and then hit done. And that's gonna now show up as the audio underneath of our video. So we could then add videos that are already on our device, or we could go ahead and record some video content to go over the top of it. But playing underneath it will be that snippet of audio from the video that we are sampling. If we go back and hit the create short button again and choose cut, then this is where we can cut a short video segment out. And again, this one is limited to a maximum of five seconds. We can go a little shorter if we need to, we can adjust the start and end times here. So we can see it's now 3.8 second chunk. But if we hit next, then we can see that it's actually taken up that first little chunk there of our 15 second short. So then I could go ahead and record a short piece to go with it and say, yeah, that was an amazing tip D. You should definitely, everyone watching this, go and check out D's video. And that little clip is positioned now after it. Now we still got access to all of our filters, all of our effects and things here, all those standard tools. We can hit the tick, we can add text, we can customize things up in that timeline view, or we can hit next to post it. And that last option, the green screen option, if we go back and select on that. Again, now we're gonna pick out a chunk of D's video, but with this effect, we're actually able to sample a maximum of a 15 second clip for this. So let's just grab this short section here, 12.8 seconds and hit next. And this is then what you'll see. And it's actually done a pretty good job of cutting out the background. Like I'm not in front of a green screen, I'm still just in my studio, but it's actually done a pretty good job. But you can see I'm actually covering up the video. So I can actually pinch to zoom on the screen here and make myself smaller. I can move me around. Maybe I'll put me down in the bottom corner here. And this way, while I'm talking and reacting to the video that's playing in the background, we're able to see both. So if I press record here now, it's going to play back D's video and I'm gonna be able to narrate or talk or react to it as we go. I don't know what he's saying. I've got it on mute, but I'm sure it's something amazing. Um, yeah, definitely go check out these video. So that audio now, that video piece is now recorded on top of that. So if you've ever wondered how to create this style of video, this is how you do it. Now, while the tools and features and things that YouTube gives you to create shorts are pretty powerful, you're not just limited to that though. You can actually use your built-in phone camera or more advanced camera apps like Filmic Pro. You can also then edit that footage down using mobile video editing tools like LumaFusion, VN, CapCut, so that you've got more control over the filming and the editing and really create some amazing pieces of content. You can still then post those as shorts using the app too. So if we hit plus and go to create short down the bottom, here where it says add if we press on that we can go through find our video that we want to add we don't need to make any adjustments because it's already edited we can hit done hit the tick because we don't need to make any changes or adjustments to it and we're now able to post and to publish our more professionally edited video now you're not just limited to uploading your shorts from your mobile device either you can upload your shorts from desktop as you would a normal youtube video so over on desktop you want to come up to the little plus create button up here and choose upload video. We can then select our video file. We need to give it a name or a title, add in a description. Now in here, we do have more options for our upload than we do on the mobile app. While you have the ability to upload a thumbnail image for a short, it is not required. And it's something that YouTube themselves have said that there's no need to upload one. We can add the video to a playlist if we want to. We will again need to specify if this video is made for kids. 
yes or no. We can specify an age restriction for it if we need to, if it includes a paid promotion. My suggestion is just to leave these automatic chapters and the places just set to auto. And we can add in some video tags around here as well to help your video rank. Again, this is not required, but it can help give YouTube some insights as to what your content is about. So let's come down the bottom here and hit next. Now we'll cover monetization very soon, but here's where we can turn it on or off for this video. Now for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna choose off and then we come down here and hit next. Now, because this isn't a regular YouTube video, we can ignore this stuff here as well and hit next again. You can see that there's no copyright issues found for this one, so we can hit next again. And then we can specify if we want our video to be uploaded as private, unlisted, for members only, or if it's going out as public, or if we wanna schedule it for a later date and time. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick private for this one and hit save. And we can see our video now is good to go. It is up on our channel as private. Obviously, when we want people to see it, it'll need to go to public. Now, in terms of the analytics, Shorts now have their own dedicated category on both desktop and mobile so that we can see how our Shorts are performing. So on mobile, if we open up the YT Studio app, come over to analytics, go across to the content tab, and then there is a category here for Shorts. So we can go through and see how our shorts are performing, what our top shorts are for the last 28 days, and even how people are finding our shorts. On the desktop in your YouTube studio dashboard area, you wanna go over to analytics, again to content, and we have the shorts category up here too. Now in terms of monetization, yes, you can make money from your YouTube shorts, but it is different to how you would make money from the regular YouTube partner program and having ads run on your videos. Right now, YouTube are still running their YouTube creator fund for shorts content, where it's essentially a pool of money that is divided up over top YouTube shorts creators each and every month. And the amount that you can earn is determined by the amount of views that you've got in comparison to others that are are eligible in that pool. But YouTube have recently come out and said that they are changing their monetization policy for shorts as well. And they'll be opening up to an ad revenue split for creators who have hit 1,000 subscribers and have over 10 million views on their shorts in the past 90 days. Now, because the ads are gonna be run in between shorts instead of on a specific YouTube video, as with regular videos, it's again gonna come down to a pooled amount of money that's going to be divided out to the creators of those reels that generated ad revenue for that viewers session. So it's awesome to see that YouTube is moving in this direction and are adding more monetization options for shorts too. So it'll be interesting to see when it all plays out and what it actually means in terms of how much money people are making from these. But it's cool to see that it's another way that you can monetize your content because love them or hate them, it really seems like shorts are becoming a big focus for YouTube on the platform. So that is a complete update on YouTube shorts. Now, if you are creating videos using your smartphone, then definitely check out the videos that are linked on screen to help you create professional looking videos. And don't forget to check out all the links and the resources down in the description box below, which will help you as well. I'll see you in there.